morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. I may be reached, as many of you know, on 781-380-8888. 781-380-8888. Thanks for your many calls and emails. The fact of the matter is the U.S. has been in a recession for a while. We're going to review some technical unemployment stuff over the next couple of days. But the fact of the matter is the actual unemployment rate in the United States, if you count people the government has stopped counting, is 16.1%. 16.1%. About 7% of people are now classified as discouraged. In other words, they've been out of work so long that they're not actively seeking work. They're not actively seeking work because there are no jobs. If you don't have a degree, if you don't have a background in computer science or information technology, you've got an extraordinary, extraordinarily serious problem. That's why it was so absurd that uh, the state of Washington, the regulators are trying to prevent Boeing from opening a factory in North Carolina, and they want to compel them to stay in the state of Washington. Completely nutty. Blue-collar jobs in another part of the country. Now, what we're, going to, what we're seeing in gold this morning is no surprise to those who are regular correspondents. Gold is trading at 1770 this morning. It blew right past our 1700 level. We had projected 1810. Now it's becoming quite common to see gold projected at $2,500 by year end. If you don't own gold, it's not too late. The same people who are telling you that it's too late and it's a bubble said that when it was 405, when it was 1,000, when it was 1,200, when it was 1,400. We're saying buy, buy, buy. Who knows what's going to happen in the stock market today? The futures showed higher. Now they're flat. Bernanke's supposed to speak at 2 o'clock. Bernanke cannot do anything to solve the, rep- the, the recession slash depression issue. He can't do it. He doesn't have any capability to do that. The president should be calling for Congress to return immediately to work on deficit reduction. But that's not going to solve the problem immediately. The immediate problem is people don't have jobs. Do the old Peter Lynch test. Go to your neighborhood shopping mall. It's it's August, so this is a time when people are supposed to be buying stuff for their kids to return to school. When you go into that shopping mall, see how hard it is to find a parking space. See if the stores look busy. I was in the neighborhood mall, giant mall, over the weekend. It was very easy to find a parking space in a convenient location. And the place wasn't swarming with people either. So that tells me that people aren't spending money. And the people aren't spending money because they are afraid of losing their job or all their friends have lost their jobs and they're just nervous. Now, this whole stock market situation, the whole downgrade situation, probably is less troubling to professional investors than it is to retail people. Nonetheless, any time an instrument loses so much money over a two-day period of time, it's a concern to everyone. And I see no short-term solution that's going to get this situation uh, moving forward. I think there's a growing recognition that the U.S. economy never got out of the slump caused by the Republican free-for-all in the financial area. That's what caused the whole problem. And he add to that that we're still spending money overseas in ridiculous ways. Barney Frank is absolutely correct. Stop spending money on Afghanistan and Iraq. Repatriate that money. Let's get a public works program going so some real people can get real jobs. This is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows. Buy some gold. Don't increase your platinum and palladium holdings, even though they're starting to move up north. They're moving upward as well because those are both very related to uh, uses in the automobile industry, which worldwide is having a relatively hard time. So this is Arnie Waters, a lot of information in a pretty long lecture today. Uh, I look forward to those calls and emails, and I may be reached at 781-380-8888. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Keep swinging.